Brap, brap. What is up, Crypto Love? Today we have a video on how to find bad cryptos because they're out there all over the place, and it is our job to find them and not buy them because you can lose a lot of money. Maybe if you're a really good day trader, you're that one out of ten. Maybe you can make some money on them, but most of the time you're just gonna lose your shirt, lose your pants, lose your underpants, and probably lose your virginity to some big dude in jail. So you don't want to do that. Now, before we get started, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. This is going awesome. We've got 707 subscribers. Videos are blowing up. People are actually watching videos every day. I mean, yesterday, videos almost got 300 views in a day. Video from two days ago has over 1,000 views. I have a feeling because I said Chainlink and Walton. But a lot of views, right? So thank you. Cool, now let's get started. What are we doing here? Now, generally, a lot of these bad coins just show up all over the place. Like we go to Bittrex to go do some trades and we're like, I'm gonna buy like a really good coin today. I'm gonna get some NEO, I'm gonna get some Ethereum. And then you're looking at this and you're like, whoa, spread coin, breakout coin, what are these things? They must be good coins. And also, I mean, if you're looking at these charts based on percent change. A lot of the worst coins are the most volatile ones. So you'll just see them show up here. I mean, look at these breakout spread coin, bite cent, park bite, lomo coin, influx coin, core coin, all these things. Have you heard about them? No. Nah. Did many people talk about them? No. Nah. Could you make a buck? Maybe. Should you stay away from them? Probably. And before I go any further, everyone, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do with your money. This is one humble man's opinion about how to buy and sell cryptocurrencies and how to stay away from the losers. Because believe it or not, we are in the cryptocurrency bubble, like the dot-com bubble. For those of you who were not around in 2000, when the internet came out, everyone was buying up the dot-coms. This was like before they had like dot Moby and dot sucks and dot rocks and dot mobile and dot club and dot io they just had dot coms maybe dot orgs maybe dot goes but everyone was buying them up because you were like oh there's a company i know called coca-cola if i buy coca-cola.com maybe i can sell them and make a buck everyone was buying that up things were prices were exploding and that's what's happening now with cryptos everyone's coming out with a crypto i mean if you look at it in the past few months there's probably like over 500 ICOs and most of them suck. Not apologizing for that. Most of them do. They're not going to survive. They're not going to make it through. But out of this bubble, we're going to get some awesome, awesome companies. We're going to get the Amazon. We're going to get the Google. We're going to get the YouTube. We're going to get the Pornhub. All that fun stuff. Okay. So that's why you got to look for the winners. Now, how do we find some losers? Well, I pulled out a couple websites that I think aren't great cryptos, okay? Personal opinion, you may have a different opinion. Feel free to voice it down below. Maybe I'm wrong, you know? But let's take a look. So first one, Veritasium, Veritasium, however the heck you pronounce that. Now, you guys know that when I look at cryptos, I look for a good website, a good use case or business plan, a usable token. So let's take a look here. Fair to see them. Website kind of sucks. I mean, really, anyone could make it. You could you could go and use one of those Web 2.0 things like uh, I forget, but you could make a website that looks ten times better than this and with no experience, and you can make it in under an hour. So why this is their website, I don't know. But the big reason that I pulled out Fair to see them is because if we go over here and look at this team. Okay, so the team has a CEO founder who looks sketchy. However, he was on the Kaiser Report, whatever. You know, just looked kind of sketchy. A lead engineer, nice mugshot, and then a lead analyst, and that's it. So they have a team of three, and they really don't have much crypto experience. They're just a team of three. They're just trying to take your money. And if we take a look at Veritasium, now, I'm not going to be looking too much into the financials of each of these. I just want to go into the novel concept of each one. But we take a look at this. Since it's come out, uh, it's just been dropping. 
you know, the price is just dropping. It's dropping, it's dropping. I mean, right now, $141 million market cap. That's got to be a pretty good idea if the market cap's that high. I don't think it's going to stay there. Now, if we take a look at some other websites to compare this with, just to give you an idea of what a good website looks like, because how do we know bad without good? This world is duality, you know? Yin and yang, good and bad. So if we take a look, one of my favorites, Lisk, uh, we take a look at their website. Whew, look at this beautiful website, right? And you just scroll through. Oh my goodness, it describes it so easily. What a novel concept. And then we go down here, we look at the team, and look at all these smiling faces. And if you do some more research about these people on the team, they do have experience. This dude, Max Kordek, one of the co-founders, he, really smart, really motivated, has some good stuff behind him. And also, this project is based off of another successful crypto called Crypti. And uh, pieces of that team went on to create ARK and some other ones. So that's what to look for in a good one. Now, on to more of the bad. And one more example of when you want to look at a team is this here with Paragon Coin. So they're right now in their token sale. And you know, if you like to smoke pot, you might be thinking Paragon Coin. And whatever, you're entitled to your opinion. But if we take a look down here, we would find the, where is it? The team. Oh, look at this. A big team. Hmm, maybe that is good. Didn't he just say a big team? Well, let's take a look at the CEO. If we go over here to her uh, YouTube channel, okay, we could check out a video that she's featured in, and uh, let's let's take a look at that. Ready? Well, that is most certainly a CEO I want to put my money with. I mean, like, if I was at a strip club and uh, I saw her, I would probably make it rain. But do I really want to put my hard hard cash there under her direction? I mean, she can shake it. I'd like to have a little one-on-one -on -one meeting with her. Uh, but do you really want to put your money there? I'll leave that question unanswered for you guys. This one came out this week, one of my favorites by far, okay? I sold all of my holdings and everything else, and I just bought Rebel Coin. But seriously, folks, don't do that. That is risky behavior. You're going to get in trouble. You're going to lose it all. So take a look at Regal Coin. I mean, look at this. Okay, so if you're brand new to crypto, you see this, and you're like, wow, okay, Skyline of New York City or something, Regal Coin, that sounds like rich royalty, and they have an actual coin. And look at this. Life is like coin. Really. And then if you go down here, R plus C plus K equals S. All right. And B times S times P equals U. What the hell are they talking about? Right? Go to the website. Look at that stuff. See if you can figure it out and tell me. All right. Now, then, okay, scroll down. And they literally stole this from Bitcoin's website. What is Bitcoin? Why is Regal Coin answering Bitcoin for us? All right, because they're going after people who just don't know much about Bitcoin cryptos, who are new into the space, who want to buy Bitcoin, want to make the profits of Bitcoin, but don't want to spend the money. And that's what they're going after. And that is just evil, evil. Now, uh, Regal Coin, it, <laughs> this concept may sound like Bitcoin, and actually, it's not much different than Bitcoin. Yeah, because there's no new use case. There's nothing there. There's not a usable token. People aren't going to be using this. This is crazy. All right. And also, I mean, they have like a multi-level marketing type thing. So they're just trying to get people out there selling more Regal coins, selling more affiliate programs because you earn money. That is terrible. If we take a look, let's look at the financials. Boom, came out and the price is just going down. Again, not a great coin. Now, looking at use cases, Denticoin, okay? This one got some popularity. It's the coin for dentists because, you know, when I go to my dentist, I'm going to pay him in Denticoin. And then, 
I want to solve world dental issues with DentaCoin. Maybe I'm a skeptic, but who the heck is going to use this, really? Like, yeah, there are dentists out there, but do you really think they're going to be like, uh, I'm not taking cash, not taking credit card, not taking one of the easy payment systems like 10x, like Bitcoin, like Litecoin, like uh, Metal. Not going to do that. You have to pay me in DentaCoin. Well, where do I get DentaCoin? I don't know, right? So DentaCoin is, I mean, they had a successful token sale and they're going to have coins for the dental industry. But is this really a good use case? I say no. Again, not an expert here, but I say no because it's so specific. You're only going to be able to use it for the dentist. How often do you go to the dentist? Once a year, twice a year, right? If you're British, never, right? Uh, but how often do you go to the dentist? Never. So is this useful? No. Is this a usable token? No. Website, yeah, great. They have all these floating dots that like tank your computer. But other than that, not useful. If we take a look at it, boom, came out and then going down. And where can you even buy this if you wanted to? Okay, look at all these shitty exchanges. Excuse my French, but they're shitty exchanges. So the next and last one, the 300 token. Okay, talking about bad use cases, this one has no uses whatsoever other than holding. The law of the three token, 300 token, HODL, no dumping, and destroy FUD. So basically they're like, hold this coin, don't dump this coin, don't sell this coin. Yeah, well that's cool, there's only 300 tokens, and because of that the price is 240 bucks, but good luck finding one, right? Let's see. The volume is $31, so basically people sell like a tenth of a token per day on Cryptopia. But no use case, no team, no usable token. So in essence, where are we going with this? All right, I want you guys to take a look at some good websites, some good cryptos. So the ones in the top 20 that are really, really good. So we have Bitcoin, we have Ethereum, we have Lisk, we have Litecoin, we have NEO. Take a look at these websites, all right? They're nice websites. They have a usable uh, token. So the token is actually going to be used in the atmosphere of whatever they're doing. They have a solid platform. They have a, a business plan. All right. They have all those things. They have a great team. And that's really what you're looking for. Okay. So every time you go and buy a coin, unless you think you're just going to scalp trade it and make a million dollars, but every time you're buying a coin, you should look for good website, good team, a use case, and a usable token. And that, my friends, is how to spot a bad crypto. Now, if you've watched through this whole video, I just ask you one more thing. Please click that subscribe button if you haven't already. I look forward to bringing you these videos every single day. It brightens my day up. I hope it brightens your day up too. And lastly, what do you guys think? What are some other bad cryptos that I totally missed on this video? Because I was just scrounging around for them. Which ones did I miss? Because it's good to have a list of all the bad cryptos for people who watch this video. That way they can know which cryptos not to buy. All right. Look forward to catching you guys tomorrow. As always, I love you. Peace.